Do it. He's gonna I do it. You should just do whatever you want. Rob, Sims, and myself are going kiwi watching. I spend my time building spoons at night, pretending nothing's wrong when nothing's right. <laughs> A recent trip to the Waikato was perfectly timed for us to watch the magnificent Cricket Farm perform at the lovely Paula and Elusive Wayne's Sound Lounge. We invited singer Haley and guitarist Sims, along with Ivan's friend Cooper Greasley, to join us on a sail to a little gem of an island, Tiri Tiri Martingi, for a little R and R, Kiwi watching, and a big thank you to the Cricket Farm for letting us use their music. Hurry up and get on with it! It's really scary! <laughs> it might be cold! <laughs> it is cold! Warm up, warm up, warm up, warm up! Just run and jump! Run and jump! Here he goes! <laughs> oh, I see you now. Be very cold! Get in there, Cooper! You haven't got time! Oh, you're joking with me! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, you stay out of the water, mate! <laughs> oh. So we are here, this is our favourite place in the whole wide of New Zealand. <laughs> the whole wide New Zealand. Oh, wide of. It's kind of our spiritual <laughs> home in some ways. Our spiritual getaway island that we just love. We love it here. It's as New Zealand used to be, you know, hundreds of years ago. With all the native birds, there's no mice, no rats, no possums, no weasels, no Pest stoats. Free island. It's a bird sanctuary, the whole island is a bird sanctuary and they bring the struggling native New Zealand birds here and they thrive. Before man arrived there were no land-based mammals and so the birds are all the natives of New Zealand and because they had no predator they didn't need to fly so a lot of them were ground-based. The kiwi, the takahe, the moa. More. They're just being killed by the rats and the mice and the stoats and the cats and the possums. And so here they get to thrive, there's nothing here that can attack them. And the people sitting, watching, waiting, listening, admiring, concentrating, anticipating, digesting. Got no time to talk. One of the most popular birds on Terry are the Take, thought to be extinct until their rediscovery in the South Island in 1948. The Takahe have clung to existence despite pressure from hunting, habitat destruction and introduced predators. A major conservation push in the 1980s has brought the number up to over 300 birds in New Zealand. Unfortunately, these critically endangered birds suffered a setback in 2015. Hunters culling their more fertile cousins, the Pukeko, from the neighbouring island of Motatapu, managed to cull a few takahe as well. Since Pukeko can fly, hunters were instructed to only kill birds on the wing. Sadly, four flightless takahe were mistakenly shot. Preparing meal, Rachel? Yes. Well, kitchen. <laughs> serenaded. Serenaded by, by Cricket, cricket Farm singing. out there. I'm just repeating what you say, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's amazing. Rachel's <laughs> malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Computer failure. <laughs> just let me know if you'd like me to kick in with a little harmony. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> At any time. We're just winging it. <laughs> A bow bow. It 
it's about 10.30 and most people have gone to bed but the faithful, the hardy, Rob, Sims and myself are going kiwi watching. There are about a hundred kiwis on the island. We're hoping we can find at least one of them. To a tower on the path. Yeah. Kiwis aren't the only nocturnal creature roaming the island. Tuatara are reptiles endemic to New Zealand. They are a huge international interest to biologists due to their status as the last surviving order of reptiles that thrived in the dinosaur ages some 200 million years ago. Once found throughout the mainland, they survive in the wild only on 32 offshore islands like Tiri. Dinosaur. Pretty cool, hey? Eh? Mm. Interrupting our evening. Hello. So we've been out how long? Maybe. Oh, sorry, is that shining your eyes? Sorry. How do you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, we've been out over an hour. Yeah, yeah um, successful. It was Finally pretty successful. successful yeah. <laughs> it was a very it's slow start. Yeah, very slow. Yeah. We saw several tuatara in there. For the first hour, we saw nearly nothing. Yeah. And then the last half hour, we saw several tuatara. And then just when we'd given up hope of ever seeing any kiwi, we get three of them. Three in a close, like, quarters, one after the other, within 10 or 15 metres between each one. Walked and half the off. island and, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, they're right yeah. down by the beach. I chased after one down it ran down into the bush and but yeah. um it's nice to be here look it's just it's really calm it's a really calm. It's a beautiful calm. evening yeah and up in the bush when we're sitting up in some of the central island it was so quiet and just the you know the sound of the birds you'd hear the odd leaf you'd hear the, yeah, an you odd leaf would fall down out, yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah crazy though isn't it so quiet Mm. And then it all went mad for a moment. <laughs> yeah. And now we're back near the water's edge. We're hoping yeah. our tent is still there. Yes, that's us going. We better Should go and be. check it. We go check it. Dad, oh, no. Dad, guess what? The fuel line's what broken. The fuel line. It's completely it's, sheared off. It's sheared. How'd that happen? I don't know. I don't know. We just turned it on and it was gone. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. So that has got to go in there. This is very hard plastic. No, no, no. very hard to get that in there. So I mean, we do feel is, that. That's just like it's quite no way, brittle. no going. Burn it. Well, you're actually gonna burn it. I'll try and just soften, to soften it up. It. I don't really know how much I should burn this, but don't breathe fumes, guys. Don't breathe. 
Don't breathe anything. Oh yes, look at that. No, leave it on, leave it on, leave it on. Leave it on. Man, that's... Actually, you know, thinking about this, <laughs> that had petrol in it, right? <laughs> potentially wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. We well, did empty the fuel out, to be fair. Mm. I can just see it going. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it's on pretty good. Perfect. Oh, that's actually good as. Mm. All that was left to do was for Declan to tick an item off his bucket list. He has wanted to jump from the first spreader since ages ago, some seven metres up and about ten metres off water level and needing a three metre wide clearance. After some careful mathematical equations, a little training at flip out in Fungare, he was ready. The fool's going to, I mean, Declan's going to do it. I don't think you should do it, mate. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna I do think it. You should just do whatever you want. Yeah. Do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> he did it. <laughs> All right, now we all do it. <laughs> You're next, Sims. <laughs> As we departed Tiri Tiri's shores, Ivan challenged Cricket Farm to a singing duel debuting a song he had rustled up some five minutes earlier. See that guy in the casket? He didn't have insurance. See that guy not in the casket? He had insurance. There was only one avenue of reply. Quicker Farm were going to have to bring out the big guns, bending spoons.
got me losing my mind But if I could only spend the night bending time, not spoons I'd realize my life with you But if I could only spend the night bending time, not spoons I'd realize my life with you I think mine will have been better. Yeah. Insurance for the win. Insurance for the win. Go do a high one. <laughs>